Brothers in Arms here. Alright, uh, today we're going to be talking about two things. I'm going to be talking about something I want to talk about, and Left over here is going to be talking about something he wants to talk about, and we'll talk about those two things. I want to talk about Block 19. Alright, let me pull up my shirt, but uh, standing like this, not very visible. In reality, there is a concealed Glock right here. First things first, take out the magazine. It's empty, 15 round mag. Next, it's clear the weapon, okay? I'm gonna visually inspect it, it's clear. I'll show you guys that it's clear as well later. But anyway, let's talk about this real fast. <clears throat> what I wanted to talk about, I wanna talk about Glock 19, Generation 4, uh, 9mm. Um, obviously, if you know anything about Glock, it's made in Austria. Uh, it's very good quality. Uh, Glock is very popular in a lot of military and law enforcement. Very popular in the civilian side as well. Why? Uh, well, first of all, it's very durable. This thing can take a lot of uh, punishment. Uh, they've done all kinds of tests uh, with it that, you know, put it up to a lot of punishment, through a lot of punishment, and this will still fire where other pistols might not. Okay, so, uh, like I said, this magazine has 15 round capacity. I hit it. Um, this particular pistol is compatible with up to 18 round mags, uh, extendos. <laughs> uh, a little bit about the weight, it's very lightweight. It's made with a polymer lower receiver, pretty much like a plastic, it's very light, 30 ounces loaded, 21 ounces unloaded, okay, uh, one of the cons is there's no traditional safety, there's other pseudo safeties they uh, have implemented here, but, you know, to a responsible gun user, uh, this should never have an accidental discharge short of you pulling the trigger, okay, uh, just another thing about how simple it is, you know, usually, you know, with uh, weapon systems, the simpler the better. The more working pieces, the more places it's going to mess up. Alright, so uh, can you grab the camera left real fast? Yeah. <clears throat> First of all, let's visually in the chamber that there's no round. Okay. Alright, so let's uh, disassemble it real fast. Okay. Uh, the steps of disassembling this are super simple. So, okay. First thing you're going to do is you're going to discharge it. Obviously, pull the trigger. Okay, next thing you're gonna pull the upper receiver back just a bit. All right, do that. And then you're gonna pull these two uh, levers. They're on both sides right here. Okay, and pull them down. Once you do that, you can release and the upper receiver should just disconnect from the top like that. Okay, first of all, first thing, that I noticed is the difference in weight. Uh, so this the upper receiver here is heavy it's steel. The lower receiver polymer is just I mean maybe half as light, if not more. Uh, I imagine when you put well I don't imagine when you put the magazine in full with bullets, you know it would balance out the weight you know a little bit. So it's not uh, not a little bit a lot. It's not you know as top heavy. Okay, uh, but as I was saying, disassembly wise, spray wise, there's just a spring in here. Two pieces take apart. And the barrel. So, this right here, for all intents and purposes, is Glock 19 Gen 4. Take it apart. Okay, I uh, just put the camera back real fast now. So, as I put this together real fast, we're going to talk about um, something connected to uh, kind of what gave me the idea is uh, in Texas, um, Texas legislator passed an open carry pistol law effective January 1st, excuse me. meaning you can carry one of these on your hip January 1st. Up till now, it's only concealed carry. Um, a lot of other states have it, so, I mean, I don't see any problems with it. I personally support it. 
a lot of, like I said, a lot of other states already have open carry for pistols, so should be a problem. Uh, the other thing that's even more controversial is the campus carry. Um, public universities in Texas are required as of next year to allow, to implement some kind of program to allow its students to conceal carry on campus. Meaning, you know, college students like myself are able to carry pistols such as this one on campus. Uh, so now that one's really controversial. Okay, uh, just real fast putting it back. Super simple. Pull it all the way back. Alright, let me inspect it one more time. Excuse me. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Don't point it ever, you know, at anybody. Practice. Yeah. Trigger awareness. And I'm just gonna put it I'm gonna put it down right here. Anyway, um that's what I want to talk about. Uh Concealed carry on campus, that's going to be a very controversial issue. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll see what the next year brings with that. I plan to conceal carry on campus, and I'm a responsible gun owner, so, you know, just hope for the best. Now, here's the thing. Do you trust the Glock 19 with your life? I mean... Me? Yeah. Hell yeah. I would mean, you? <laughs> I, <don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it has no safety, A. Yeah. What if you accidentally shoot yourself? I mean, here's the thing, like, like, uh, well, first of all, you know, if you have any kind of, you know, training and awareness, you should know that unless you're planning to shoot, mm. and, you know, your finger's never on the trigger. All right. Let me like this out real fast. Just so it doesn't make anybody nervous, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> waving it around. Um, you know. Uh, I'm going to do this for demonstration purposes. You know, this is not okay. Not even right. You know, now. It's never okay. So, you know, how are you going to shoot yourself if you, know, you just are aware? Uh, the accidental discharge is impossible. Like in a holster, accidental mm -hmm. triple is impossible. <clears throat> um, so, I, like I said, for me, uh, maybe if I could um, redesign the clock, I'd put a safety on. But it doesn't have one. But... Uh, apparently it's still a super, you know, this is super famous pistol for some reason. It's because it's really freaking good. So, <laughs> um, yep. All right. So, I mean, will I trust my life with it? Yeah. I haven't really had any other pistols, so. <laughs> I mean, I've had experience with, you know, a, a limited amount of pistols, but. All right. I've shot a good amount, but, uh, you know, have one, so. The answer is yes. <laughs> Moving right. on. Now, uh, my topic is Star Wars. Obviously, Episode 7 came out Thursday night, I believe. Yep. Uh, I watched it Friday. Sadly, I only got the tickets. Um, I said Thursday. saw it Thursday? Dang. Yeah. I, I only got the tickets Friday. Uh, and the, the worst thing is I got the my tickets in November. Yeah, I got my ticket three hours before the Which movie is started. Which is ridiculous. I movie theater. But mine was in 3D. But I don't really like 3D, so... Oh yeah, I watched mine in IMAX and 3D, so it was like perfect. Like, it was a huge screen, 3D, it was just awesome. Uh, now I want to, um, the plot, first of all, uh, and Starkiller Base. Uh, first of all, I'm going to start off with Starkiller Base. Uh, it's a little ridiculous to me how like they had a another type of Death Star in the series. Uh, I know it's not a Death Star, it's, it's something completely different, but... Pretty much, same concept. Yeah, same, same concept. Except got the sun, <laughs> which is actually pretty smart. Okay, that was, man, that was that a good idea. Sense. Yeah. Um, a, that thing is way bigger than the Death Star. Um, how do they build it with what money? I mean, the Empire fell, right? And By the way, I just like to mention, this is not a product placement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This is just a black soda. <laughs> Um, yeah, anyway, it sucks. <laughs> Alright, anyway, excuse me. Uh, first of all, how did they build it? Like, with what money, what currency? That was, like, one of my, like, the reoccurring thoughts that came up. Right. Like, just to I me, mean, during the... Well, like, five times bigger than the Death Star? Huge. Gigantic. Like, it's the size of a planet. Like, like the diameter is about, about twice, three times as much. Yeah. I, I, would, I would say so, yeah. Um... Also, the plot, I actually thought it was a really good movie. I would give it probably an 8.5 out of 10. Um, I wasn't a big fan, personally. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I thought it, I thought it was good. Like uh, I re I saw the um, Rotten Tomatoes um, uh, score. Score, yeah, it was about ninety five percent, I believe. That's really good, in my opinion. Um, and Rotten Tomatoes hasn't like like brought me anywhere where I don't want to watch a movie. So I mean, I watched it out of just respect for Rotten Tomatoes, and I mean, I I couldn't have agreed more. Like it was a great movie. Um, I still think it was overhyped, honestly. Overhyped? Yeah. For the product, it was overhyped. Maybe, like I said, if I hadn't been around for the hype, maybe a good movie. But <laughs> with the hype, with the trailers, with everything. You know, seven, yeah, seven, I, seven out of seven. I can I can see where you're coming from because honestly, like I remember the trailer came out like what last year, right? And, and it all was just of a like sudden, that, like one scene in the forest where yeah. Kylo Ren's just like <laughs> has a little sword. I was like, man, it's gonna be an epic fight, and then. Freaking Fen has no power on the Force, and he's like able to match up against the Sith Lord that like killed his whole class of Jedi. It's like, come on, like, that's dumb. And then uh, the girl, I forget her name. Ray. Yeah, she she can like square up to him. Like, <laughs> I, I don't care how good, like how much Force you have. Um, which she she didn't use any Force really. Yeah, she didn't have any training. You know? Yeah. Um, you know, training the, you know, you can be like a apprentice Sith, like, no. And, and whenever uh, Finn was fighting him, he could have just, you know, force freeze them, kill them super <laughs> easily. Uh, See, so the plot, you know, holes. And like, you know, they brought, not holes, but like, you know, it's like the cheap, There's little things, the cheap you know? way out. Yeah. You know, like bringing in, bringing in Luke and like Kylo Ren being uh, Han Solo's son. Like, I don't know, it's just getting too cheap. Like, like, does it all have to be in the Skywalker family? Like, you know, hit me up with some, <laughs> hit me up with some new Jedi, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I can definitely see where, like, they're trying, you know, to modernize. Like, you can tell, like, there's a difference between, like, the new, like, um, set of actors versus the old ones, which, by the way, the old actors are extremely badly aged like yeah. the They're actors really that played old, Leia yeah they are old not not gonna lie they are old but like the actors that played Leia super old like uh Han Solo Harrison Ford like he doesn't even like seem like Han Solo anymore he just seems like oh that's Harrison Ford you know that is true like it's that is true he right? looks weird it just looks just not it's completely it out weird. of place yeah um and honestly so many people think it was great and I'm like yeah, I'm not as big of a fan, so the hype wasn't even as much as some people. You know, some people in the theater. Did, did some people like some people, saying? Yeah, <laughs> some people were like so people clapping. Were, like, <laughs> like I went to the bathroom and this guy ran in. He's like, I'm missing it. I'm missing it. I'm like, bro, like, are you kidding me? Like, and so these people were so hyped, and they're like, this is ten. I'm like, like am I am I out of touch? No. <laughs> no joke. I saw like multiple people in costumes. Some like dresses Obi Wan Kenobi. Another dresses like a Y wing. Another dresses like some other spaceship. I don't know. Like people took it out of proportion. Uh, not to say I didn't think it was a good movie. I thought it was a really good movie. Um, but I can see where he's coming from. Definitely, like there was some some things that were just a little irritable about it. Um, but overall, like I'd give it a solid eight point five. Honestly, I think that's fair. Yeah. Anyway. That was um, that was your dosage of uh, our world knowledge. Uh, <laughs> wait, okay. <laughs> Tune in next time when we talk about two completely different subjects. Absolutely different. As Those always.